Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you have seen in the intro video, today we will discuss about histology of adrenal gland. Adrenal gland is also called as suprarenal gland. As the name indicates, renal refers to kidney and supra means above. So the suprarenal gland or adrenal gland is present above the kidney. As you all know, we have paired kidney or two kidney. On each kidney, these adrenal glands are situated or present. These adrenal glands are crescentic shaped gland or organ. Anyhow, the shape of this adrenal gland varies between left adrenal gland and right adrenal gland. Usually, the left adrenal gland which is present on the left kidney is crescent shaped. Whereas, the right adrenal gland is exactly triangular in shape. As it is true with the other organs or gland, even adrenal gland is covered by a connective tissue capsule. This purple color layer is a connective tissue capsule which covers the adrenal gland. This capsule sends a septa or trabeculae into the cortex part of this adrenal gland. This is a cortex part which is present just below the capsule. So capsule sends trabeculae into the cortex part of the adrenal gland. Along with the trabeculae or septa, the capillaries and arterioles also enters into the cortex part of the adrenal gland. The parenchyma part of the adrenal gland mainly consisting of two parts that is cortex and medulla. We will discuss these two parts one by one. First one is cortex region. Cortex region is the outermost region of the adrenal gland which is present just below the capsule. So this is a cortex part. So this is the outermost capsule. Just below the capsule you can find the cortex region. The volume of the cortex is 10 times that of the medulla. And this cortex region mainly made up of cords of cell which is arranged in different manner. Based on the arrangement of this cords of cell, the cortex is divided into mainly three regions. That is zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis. So it is purely based on the arrangement of cords of cells or mass of cells in the cortex region. We will discuss these three layers one by one. First one is zona glomerulosa. As you can see in this diagram, zona glomerulosa is the outermost layer of the cortex and it is present just below the capsule region. This zona glomerulosa made up of elongated or columnar cells with the darkly staining nucleus which is situated at the basal part of the cell. And these columnar cells or elongated cells are arranged in the form of inverted U-shape or acinous group. So that is how the cells are arranged in zona glomerulosa region. And this zona glomerulosa region makes up of about one-fifth region of the cortex region. And the function of this zona glomerulosa is the production of mineralocorticoid hormone. Mineralocorticoid in turn, it balances the water and the minerals in our body. So that is regarding the first part of the cortex that is zona glomerulosa. Just below the zona glomerulosa, you can find the second layer that is zona fasciculata. And zona fasciculata is the widest part of the cortex which makes up about three-fifth portion of the cortex. In zona fasciculata, the cells are cuboidal in shape. And these cuboidal cells or polyhedral cells, they are arranged in the form of columns of two cell thick or three cell thick. And these columns of cells are arranged in the radial manner towards the medulla. In between these columns of cells you can find sinusoids. And these columns of cells are arranged parallelly in the zona fasciculata region. The function of these cells or the zona fasciculata region is production of a glucocorticoid. The function of glucocorticoid is it maintains the metabolism of carbohydrate in our body. So that is regarding the second region of the cortex that is zona fasciculata which is the widest part of the cortex. Third region or the innermost part of the cortex is zona reticularis. As the name indicates reticularis means network. So here cells instead of running in a radial direction it breaks up into network or Cords of cells are arranged in the form of a network. 
and in between this network of cells you can find numerous capillaries and this zona reticularis makes up about one fifth region of the cortex and the function of this zona reticularis is production of androgen or sex hormone so these are the three layers of a cortex that is zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and the zona reticularis so totally the cortex region secretes hormone called as corticosteroids which performs a different function and this division is purely based on the arrangement of cells so that is regarding the outermost layer cortex the next layer is medulla we'll discuss about the medulla region now medulla region is also called as a suprarenal medulla which is the innermost region of the adrenal gland this medulla region made up of cords of cell or columns of cell and these cells are polyhedral or cuboidal in shape these cords of cell or columns of cell are arranged in a form of a acinus or in group and in between these group of cells you can find wide sinusoid the speciality of these cell is some of this polyhedral or cuboidal cell which makes up medulla they have specialized granules called as chromaffin granules and those cell which possess chromaffin granules are called as chromaffin cells among this chromaffin cells some of the chromaffin cells have electron dense chromaffin granules and those cells produces hormone called as noradrenaline or norepinephrine whereas in some other chromaffin cells these chromaffin granules are not so dense and those cells produces hormone called as adrenaline or epinephrine so noradrenaline and adrenaline are known as flight and fright hormone which will be produced during the anxiety or stress condition so these hormones are produced by this chromaffin cells based on the density of this chromaffin granules so that is about the medulla region of the adrenal gland so these are the two regions of adrenal gland that is cortex and medulla part so that is all about histology of mammalian adrenal gland i hope this video will be useful if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you